The pace of cod landings in Alaska are in line with previous years at about 80,000 metric tons. We'll likely see another 20,000 trickle in by June as the season takes a breather. Landing should ramp back up in July where we forecast an additional 50,000 tons landed by year's end and as the fishery typically achieves 90% of the total allowable catch. For Pollock, about 100,000 metric tons more has been harvested in Alaska this year than the same period last year. Landing should slow down now as the Pollock A season stops but will ramp back up in June for the B season. We forecast about 700,000 metric tons of Alaskan Pollock remain to be harvested between June to year's end with Alaska Pollock total allowable catch 14% higher than last year. Our recommendation is to secure inventory for your Pollock requirements. We may see some pressure on price depending on the availability in the market as affordable whitefish options increase in popularity across all market segments. And although the Russian Pollock fishery looks to be having a great year, it's still very tough to navigate if and how much Russian origin Pollock actually makes its way to the United States. For halibut, between 5 to 8% of the Pacific halibut fishery limits have been harvested since the fishery opened March 10th. Fresh halibut prices were high again out of the gates with retail prices seen at around $30 a pound US in the Seattle area. Although one retailer could be seen running a limited time sale on fresh Alaskan halibut fillets for $17 a pound, this could have been a loss leader grocery store pricing strategy. New season frozen halibut should hit the market around May. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3 Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson reminding you to buy smart and eat more seafood.